April is my black April. I lost my job all of a sudden. When I was at the pinnacle of my career, it was hard getting through the first day. Toastmaster, fellow members, and our most welcome guests. My daughter would not be coming to Canada last summer as a fan. I was dying for another job immediately. I went to the internet searching for any job opportunity. As a matter of fact, my eyes look at the screen, but I had no idea what I was looking at. My hand moved the mouse, but I didn't know what I was doing. I stayed in the same position, forgetting to eat, drink, and sleep. Time stopped. Mama. Mama. A gentle voice woke me up. Oh, that's my daughter Lan Fan. It seemed as if she was smiling at me. I just realized I had been sitting at the computer for almost 15 hours without movement from morning to midnight. I'm the mother. And I'm supposed to set a great example for my daughter on how to deal with problems in difficult situations. My daughter needs me to stand up. In May, I start to send my resumes out. In two weeks, I received two phone calls for interviews. My self-confidence was brought up a little bit because the employers were interested in my resume. I didn't get the job because I was not prepared. I focused on my energy, improved my interview skills, and continued sending my resumes out. In August, I was offered a contract position by one thousand islands municipality. The financial manager was my former boss. But I hesitated to take this position. One thousand islands is at the east of Highway 401. And I'm living in Orangeville, Toronto. From Orangeville to One Thousand Islands, it takes me six hours to drive. According to my driving records, I have never driven more than two hours at one time. <coughs> I thought about it for two days and then decided to take it. My former boss knows well about my financial management ability. And he trusts I'm the one who can realize his goals. <coughs> My boss needs me to stand up. During those days in one thousand islands and municipality, my mood was getting back to normal. I still went for interviews and written tests all over the places, including Guelph, London, New Market, and one. In October, I was offered to write a test at the city of Sarnia municipality. City of Sarnia is located at the west <coughs> and borders Port Huron, Michigan, United States. It also almost from one thousand islands to the city, <coughs> another six hours drive. But at this moment, I don't have any issue anymore. After I wrote the test, I drove around 
to explore the city. When I was visiting the Blue Water Bridge, I received a text from my friend who was looking for advice on how to deal with her work issues. I have been volunteer I have been mentoring her for more than three years on her interview skills, reference check, and, and work direction provision. I promised to her I would call her back when I went back to Orangeville. My friend needs me to stand up. In November, I received a call from City of Toronto to write a test. And then I was brought into interview. This interview was my 10th interview. And I felt that it was my best one ever since I got this job. Life is not easy. We we'll always have to face challenges, such as lost jobs, lost homes, and our and our home, and our cars, and our health. But remember what I said: we must stand up, try our best, and move forward, no matter how hard it is because our families, our friends, our colleagues, our boss, and some other people need us. Our existence would add value to their life and make their life much easier. Someone needs you. <coughs> Thanks so much, Christian.